and rolling what's up guys it's your boy oak back on track this time in the formula mazda here around the mid ohio circuit uh we've qualified p3 just uh maybe five tenths about half a second off of p1 but we're certainly finding up a bit of pace uh in this car you know despite mixed reviews in my personal opinions and you guys let me know how you guys feel in the comments uh down below i am absolutely loving this game um it certainly has its flaws but i'm loving it as we look into the strategy for this race we're going to put in just over 11 laps of fuel uh, and we're actually going to go to the mediums people are still sort of working out uh the best strategies for each race i myself am certainly but we'll go to the mediums here as you can see there the leader going to the softs while you also have p2 going to the medium so good mix of strategies which should make for pretty good race as we count down here to the start of the race And as we get going here, you'll see we're able to actually get a pretty good jump onto the guy in second place. But our rear end is going to step out here, and that's going to give him the opportunity to come back at us coming into turn two. And that'll be a theme of most cars in this game. Most of them are in some way or another rear limited. Um, but speaking of being rear limited and rear ends, we've actually just been hit. We've been hit twice now, um, and that's going to leave us actually now in fourth place having to drag race our man darth green the third this guy is an early access member i'm gonna watch out for my own safety we're gonna rev this thing out actually to fourth fourth gear then fifth gear uh these things do rev high it actually sounds awesome we're gonna bring it down to third gear keep it on the outside here you really want to have the outside line coming into this sort of off camber turn because as you can see here uh for our man green the third if you take that inside line you're just gonna lose a lot of time so that's gonna secure us uh third position and we're actually going to uh sort of make our way uh on to sort of trying to catch second place but as you can see here by the end of the second lap we're not catching second place and actually more importantly we're actually being pressured now from fourth place from our man green the third uh, but as we move forward uh it's actually now gonna be pressure still from fourth place but now it's from kaku nine two five one and he's gonna take uh that more inside line again that's not gonna grant him too much in road into sort of catching me but he is able to definitely stay attached he's only six tenths back um, and as you can see here, I take way too much of that curve. Definitely lose a bit of time coming through that section. At least two tenths lost to Kaku 9251 behind us. Uh, and so, folks, we are certainly feeling the pressure here as we head into these last few corners of this third lap. And as you can see here, Kaku's going to have a look up the inside. And actually, he's going to hit us. Kaku's hit us. We've actually managed to stay in third place. Kaku also managed to stay right behind us in fourth and as you can see here from kaku i mean what a guy what a sportsman already saying sorry immediately after making a mistake uh, and we're gonna head into turn one uh with a bit of short-term memory forgetting about what just happened trying to put in the best lap that we possibly can so as you can see here up uh just a couple of hundreds headed into turn number two and turn two is very interesting just getting a good exit out of here uh really and, and being on sort of the limit of your uh sort of traction is going to be the best way to get the most amount of time coming out of that section we're going to fast forward here just a little bit further in the lap now two tenths up uh coming into the last couple corners here getting a pretty nice passageway through here still up five tenths the last set of corners you're gonna see that we crossed the line having found a good bit of pace going into the 131 lows as for the race strategy our leader gecko has pit from the softs he'll go to the medium tires uh, and that leaves me and fungus fool to do our end lap um, on this lap as for our tire where we are getting to a point where we certainly can expect a decline in performance uh, and as you can see here, coming out of turn number two, just struggling to get on the power. 
that's gonna leave us down three tenths compared to our best lap which is literally just the previous lap so you see the, the sort of steep decline in performance um and just getting a lot of mid corner understeer certainly sliding through some of these turns and as you can see towards the end of the lap we're going to be down six tenths having lost a good bit of time to fungus fool in front of us we're going to end up into the wall as well i would not recommend this for race strategy we actually end up not losing any more time to fungus fool with uh, that sort of mistake what I would recommend is going to the soft tire. That's certainly gonna give us a bit of pace in the next stint. So we're gonna come out now in eighth place, about eight seconds from seventh place, a lot of sevens and eights here. We're gonna actually be hit here by ninth place. And this is a really good example of the penalty system, not giving out penalties for either party and certainly being able to determine when penalties are deserved. Anytime I've gotten a penalty, while I've been playing this game so far, I feel that it has been deserved. Speaking of things that work well as well, these soft tires. So we're gonna bring it in here pretty hot, but as you can see here, on these fresh soft tires, on a track that has now been rubbered in over the course of this race, you'll see here that we are going to have pretty tremendous pace through uh, these next couple turns and you know really in this entire stint so as you can see up in the top left the gap that was about eight seconds has now been windowed down to almost six seconds so we've gained almost two seconds just in the first lap we're gonna fast forward here to lap number 10 and folks we have arrived to the party and the stage is certainly set between myself and the two drivers in fifth in sixth place as we head through turns five into six and seven you're going to see that fifth place is under an immense amount of pressure from the guy in sixth place fifth place is actually going to go off here at turn number eight we're both going to be granted a position and folks this race is certainly coming back to us we're on the soft tires with the pace advantage within half a second of the guy in fifth place fifth place should be a realistic finish for us as we try to make our move to that fifth position into turn number one here we're gonna park it on the apex get as good of an exit as we possibly can trying not to lose too much time to the guy behind who is pretty quick but we're gonna have a look here in our left side mirror and actually see that you know sometimes it's about finding our limits and sometimes you go over that's gonna be his race done and dusted for us. Um, and at this point in the race, I am pretty content with a P5. I'm starting to wonder uh, what the other strategies were. Maybe the hard tire uh, was a you know a strategy, the you know the no pit stop strategy. Maybe that was sort of the better strategy. However, as you can see here in the top left that gap between ourselves and fourth place has plummeted from what was about eight seconds to now it's four seconds and there's gotta be something going on so as we can see here he's ran out of gas that's gonna grant us fourth place across the finish line and that's gonna be our race p4 for us after starting p3 we lose a position but overall i think it was a very good race given the pit stop strategy maybe we could have pit a lap earlier maybe we could have gone to the hard tire for the entire race but as for this race i think this is a job well done and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did let me know in the comments down below like and subscribe thanks